Hi, this is Amanda Frankel with Our Crafty Playdate, and I have a super quick video for you today to show you how to do a little trick with knots. So I'm in the process of making my congratulations cards for my teammates who did super well last month. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about these stamp sets. They're going away pretty quickly here, but you still might be able to find them somewhere. This is Dots for Days um, that I used a sponge dauber and daubed all over it in different colors, yellow, orange, and daffodil, pumpkin pie, and melon mambo. And then I stamped over the top of that with the Bravo stamp set. These are both from Bravo. This is um, pumpkin pie and, and this is just um, memento black. And this is daffodil. But the trick is this. Uh, I am trying to show you here how to tie this knot so that it doesn't fall in front of your sentiment. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but you tie something around your card and you're all excited and you knot it. And one of the little legs here always hangs out over the front of your sentiment and you can never get it to redirect. Also, a trick on how to make this knot really flat like this. So, the first trick is don't tie the knot, don't tie the ribbon all the way around. Put your ribbon on like this. So I've put it on the back of my card and just taped it on with a little bit of scotch tape and held it on there and then glued this down. And now I just wanna get my knot on here and I'm gonna do it as a separate piece because if I do that, I'm able to slide it around. So here's the trick of tying it flat and then you'll see what I mean by sliding it around. You're gonna come from the top and go down like this. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit here. Yikes, that's big. Okay, um, you're gonna come in from the top like this and then you're gonna flip it back over your hand, okay? Keeping it all very smooth and not twisted here, all right? And then you're gonna come from the bottom, cross over your fingers. So now I've got a little cross over my fingers there. And then I'm just gonna fold it. I'm really just folding it through there and pull slowly. And it is gonna give me a really sharp little knot. And then, I'm just gonna cut it off at an angle here. And then if I noticed, oh my gosh, its little legs are right over my sentiment, I just put it where I want it. I can just pull it by a leg and slide it around. Uh, okay, so that's all I'm trying to show you today. If you need any help with this, or if you have any um, comments, or you'd like any of these supplies, please send me an email, or just make a comment below here, and I will go ahead and answer you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, my store, you can get to my store through my website at ourcraftyplaydate.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.